It's important that parents realize that their kids are not immune to internet dangers and parents need to be the first line of defense. So there's great things that parents can do to make sure that their kids enjoy the benefits of the internet without falling into the dangers. So we recommend internet safety rules and tools. The rules are the non-technical measures parents need to implement and the tools are the technical measures. And the key is, it's not just about the desktop anymore. Uh, kids have internet access through their cell phones, through their gaming devices, through their PDAs, and other types of internet connected devices. So let me just give you a few of the safety rules. Always keep the lines of communication open with your children. You want to be a safe and trusted place for them to come to with problems. And don't overreact when your kids do fall into some of the dangers and some of the traps. Teach your children that nothing is truly private on the internet. It's very, very important that if your children have any type of profile, for instance, on a social networking site or an online gaming profile, to make sure that those profiles are set to the most strict setting and to realize that even in those private areas nothing's truly private because anyone for instance in your child's Facebook profile can copy that information and put it someplace public. Teach your children never to meet someone offline that they only know online because people can pretend to be somebody that they're not and to follow the golden rule to do unto others as they would have others do unto them. Supervise your kids on all their internet enabled devices and follow Internet Safety 101's age-based guidelines because you're going to want to have different kinds of safety measures in place for an 8-year-old as opposed to a 15-year-old. With respect to tools, these are the technical measures that parents need to implement. I mean, tools are not as scary as they sound. The key tools that you need to know about and use our filtering tools, these are very, very important. So set the filters, otherwise your children can come across accidentally all types of unwanted material like hardcore pornography. Monitoring tools are very important. They're different than filtering because they track incoming and outgoing um, emails, messaging, texts, that sort of thing. So this is very, very useful when it comes to protecting your children from cyberbullying kinds of issues and also predation. Um, next, use time limiting tools. The great thing about time limiting is you can set different times that different children in your family can use the internet and, and you can do that for each child and you can do that with each of the settings, by the way, in a parental control suite. Um, also check the history file. Use safe search engines. For instance, Google, you can go in and set that search engine to a strict setting and so that adds another layer of protection to just the filtering that hopefully you have in place. The real key with rules and tools is to learn all of them and you can find out all about internet safety rules and tools at internetsafety101.org. But the key is to use them on all your children's internet enabled devices. It's not enough anymore just to keep a computer in a public area of the house and have some parental controls on there because now you've got portable internet access if your child has an internet connected cell phone, smartphone, or any type of PDA device. The great news parents is that you don't have to be overwhelmed. It may feel a little intimidating and overwhelming right now but if you learn about the dangers and then you recognize that your own children are not immune and that you need to be a good cyber parent and that there is information and um, educational resources like we have at internetsafety101.org, you can become a great cyber parent and make sure that your kids are using the internet safely and avoiding all the pitfalls.